Hello everyone, as we know, the design of a strip foundation on the columns is more complicated than spread footing because when multiple column loads are passed on to the combined foundation, these loads will be redistributed along the strip footing in terms of the foundation's rigidity and the soil subgrid modulus. To ensure the load redistribution is in a uniform and linear way, very often the grid beams are required to be added to enhance the foundation rigidity. Today I'm going to share my experience about using Stat Pro Foundation Design Software to design a strip foundation with grid beams. Here is an example, a plan view of a strip foundation uh, with 1.6 meter wide strip and uh, five columns with its concrete piers going 2.3 meters down. And below here is the section. Between these concrete piers, I add some grid beams to enhance the whole rigidity of the slab foundation. Because we are using the conventional rigid method to design a combined foundation, we must make sure the foundation rigidity is sufficient, especially for columns with big spacings, such that the soil subgrid modulus can be applied in a uniform way or linear way. As a result, the design will not be too complicated. In my previous video, many people asked me how to calculate the foundation rigidity. I will explain the rigidity, rigidity calculation in details in my next video. Please stay tuned. If you want to know when my next video is ready, just click and subscribe my video here. Then you will be notified when it comes. However, here is a reminder for you. When using this start foundation software SFA to build models for the grid beam, it always set grid beam in this way, center with the strip foundation center. So this is not uh, same as our real case, and the result will be affected. Therefore, I do not recommend design grid beams using this uh, foundation software. Instead, we should add grid beam in a start model beforehand, then transfer them to foundation software later. That is, I'm going to build uh, an accurate model of grid beam, put the bottom of grid beam align with this strip footing. Um, so we build this model in step model beforehand, and uh, this will give us accurate design results. Okay, uh, let's start the model in start. Here is the model for concrete piers. Five concrete piers at the top uh, nodes. They are the column base plate inputted with uh, uh, the loads passing down from up of steel structure. And uh, we need to, uh, as we said, we need to add the uh, grid beam in this step and uh, define its property and mesh these beams and then we can transfer them all together with the concrete piers to the uh, foundation software later. To save our time, I already prepared this uh, uh, grid beam model. You see all the beams are set up and meshed and all the supports are added underneath of them. And we check uh, everything loading uh, is here and uh, it's good for analysis now. You see, the results are good, zero error, zero warning. We can go to check the processing mode, uh, check the result to check, uh, to see if we have all the reactions here and to see if we had uh, all the grid beam forces like here 
you can see in the summary, you can see all the uh, forces, bending, stress, shear stress were here. So they are already good for uh, for the beam reinforcement design later. Now we are ready for the foundation design. So we click this uh, button, foundation design, and include all the combination loads here included and click this software is called start foundation advanced it's called sfa you see here is the software interface Let's see it clearly so we will we can view it from top. And the first step we need to is to create a new job. Uh, we give it a job name, strip one, and the job type is mat and uh, in our Canadian code, the international units, and including all the loads we just transferred to create a job. So the job speed Street 1 has been successfully created. Then we needed to define the loads we transferred from start. We needed to uh, set uh, split this uh, load combination into two groups. One group is for automated batch and the rest two should be for our set settlement design purpose so it should be in the service batch group then we can go to foundation uh, design and check the default property modify the factors like uh, subgrade uh, modulus this can be found in our soil survey report in our case is 30,000 and uh, our concrete strength is 35 MPA, so the modulus of el elastic is 30,000 as well. Um, then the rest of the factor can be modified later. We can directly go to uh, mesh generation, that means we need to define the boundary of this strip foundation. Usually the strip foundation is open-ended, but in our case, it's a closed loop. How to define a closed loop strip foundation? Here is a trick. We need to define two boundaries, one outer strip and one inner strip. And later we deduct the inner strip as a whole. So we got this uh, loop, strip, strip, so for the outer shape, it has four corners and we generate a table for its uh, coordinates and give it a name, we see S1 and I already prepared its coordinates here, 0 0.A Let's make sure these uh, uh, coordinates, they are correct so we click add region we got this uh, outer region similarly we will define the inner region also four corners we generate another table and uh, call it's s2 so i prepared the coordinates here double check make sure all the coordinates input are correct so we add region here you see uh, two boundary are set up. Now we need to mesh this strip foundation. First of all, we define S1 as our uh, outer uh, region and uh, the S2 we defined as a whole need to be deducted. So we choose this S1 for our meshing and uh, use the default meshing uh, size. And I prefer mixed quadrant triangle meshing. 
and create node at column's port position. Keep the rest uh, use default. So now we get the uh, meshing slab. And to see it clearly, we can modify the setting, check off the support and the loads. And now we, we can define the slab thickness 0.5 meter, 0.5 meter for both. And the soil pro property double check is 30,000 for our subgrid modulus. So now we are good to go to the analysis. Click the analysis, yes, and save. Okay, the calculation is very quick and uh, we can see the result. It's calculated sheet is here, comes first with the uh, input data, uh, geometry, everything. Now comes the analysis result with uh, displacement here in Y direction is the sediment. And also our strip slab is uh, stress movement, bending movement, and uh, shear stress, they are all here. Uh, of course, they are already ready for uh, reinforcement design. And also we need to check the soil pressure underneath our foundation. See, like for service load, we have this base pressure 160 kPa, uh, which is less than 200 kPa our capacity, so it's okay. And also we need to double check our uh, foundation stability, like sliding check, overturning check to make sure they are safety facts are good and we also can click the second uh, button here to check the visual diagram of stresses so we below this analysis this, the next menu is output view option find the second group we see here shoe soil pressure so we can see in different uh, load combinations like here is combination seven, combination one. So we can see in load combination one, we have maximum soil pressure at the left corner. It's 277 kPa, uh, which is okay, less than our automated uh, uh, soil capacity, 300 kPa. And the same thing, we can check uh, uh, the plate stress so many plate stress are showing here uh, depends on different uh, load combination MXY, shear stress, SQX, SQY and the global bending moment uh, MX and MZ in different uh, direction so the final step is to design the reinforcement we just need to input uh, material Factor like uh, 400 uh, steel strength, 35 uh, MPA concrete strength, and the concrete cover thickness, uh, rebar size, everything, and click design. It's quite straightforward. You will get the uh, finally, you will get the uh, reinforcement design. Also, you can use uh, the calculation sheet uh, data. Uh, as I said, uh, this one will be quite uh, easier for me. Okay, this is my today's video sharing with you. Hope it helps for you. If you like it, please subscribe my video below. And I would like to share my more experience in the future.